These videos are all over social media. The glowing animation effect is a trendy new effect that a lot of creators have been using in their videos. And in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how easy it is to create this effect using a really cheap and affordable plugin by the guys over at Pixel Film Studios. They gave me this plugin to try out, and honestly, right away, I fell in love with it. I'll show you guys why in a bit, but for now, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so that every time I post a new video, you guys will be notified. So I've always wanted to know how those guys over at Blotter Media create their glowing animation videos. I know there is a way to do it without a plugin, which I'll also show you guys later in the video, but the process is very, very tedious. When Pixel Film Studios approached me to try it out, honestly guys, I figured out how to use it in less than 5 minutes. So if you've always wanted to learn how to do this effect, then you'll want to stick around and see how easy it is to use. First thing you'll need to do is find a clip you want to add some glowing effects to. I've noticed that clips with a lot of movement seem to look really good when combined with this effect, like the dance videos that Blotter Media creates. In this example, since I don't really have any dance type videos, I'll just use some older clips in my hard drive of me shooting. So once you have downloaded the Final Cut Pro 10 Brush Glow plugin from the Pixel Film Studios website, drag your first clip onto the project timeline. Under the Titles and Generators tab, look for the Brush Glow Generator. Drag the appropriate layer on top of your clip. Since my project is in 1080p, I'll be dragging this one over. Now it's time for you to get creative. On the right side, you'll see all your brush glow options and settings. You have your brush controls where you can change the size of your brush, angle, and opacity. You'll also have your eraser controls, plus your glow controls where you can change the color of the lines you draw on, the softness, the amount of glow, and a ton of other options. So what I really love about this plugin is that you're able to draw in your footage directly on Final Cut Pro 10. In this example, I'll draw circles around me from top to bottom, then have it outline my body, and probably have something circle my head a bit as well. If that sounds complicated, don't worry, it is not at all. I'll start off by changing the brush size, as I don't want it to look too thick. Then I'll choose the color that I want it to be. Now I'm going to start drawing the circles around my head. Once I'm done drawing the first one, I will press the right arrow key on my keyboard to go to the next frame. So for the next one, I'll draw a circle again, but a bit lower. I'm going to continue to do this until the circle reaches the bottom. Then I'll have it come back up after it disappears. I'm going to keep doing this until the end of the clip or until I'm happy with the outcome. Now it should look something like this. But you don't have to stop there. Try adding more layers of the glowing effect. Do so by adding the brush glow generator on top of the first one and start a new set of drawings on your clip. For this layer, I'll create some type of lines across the railing on the sides, but this time I'll change up the color to red. I'll also adjust the glint size and the glow amount for this one, just to change it up. And honestly, just keep adding layers to it until you're happy with how it looks. For the third one, I'll use another color to outline my body, and I'll continue to do this until the end of my clip as well. Don't be afraid to mess up, you can easily delete your mistakes by clearing the canvas or current frame. Add in your music, sound effects, and some color grading, and your video should come out looking pretty good. If you want to try doing this yourself the free way, you can do so by cutting your clips, frame by frame, where you want the effect to take place. Then save each individual clip that you cut. Save them individually as an image by selecting the frame, going to the file, share and save current frame. Once you have them all saved individually, you'll have to load them one by one on some type of program such as Photoshop. Each photo is a different frame so make sure you do it in order. In this example, I'll draw a circle in the first picture, and then save it. For the second photo, you'll need to draw the circle a little lower, and then save that as well. Keep doing this until you're done drawing on all of your photos. Then load them back into Final Cut Pro 10. You will definitely need a lot of patience if you want to create something like what we did earlier in the video, as this way will take longer than the Pixel Film Studios way. 
To see a more in-depth tutorial on this, make sure to check out my friend King Tut's Pro's Scribble Effect tutorial where he teaches you how to do this step by step. So I've known how to do this effect manually for a while now, but I just never added it to my videos because it was a bit time consuming. By having quick access to Pixel Film Studio's Brush Glow plugin, which is built into Final Cut Pro, it makes it so much easier and convenient just to add into your videos without taking 10 times the amount of time it would take you if you had to do it the free way. And honestly, for $30, you can't go wrong. There's so many creative things you can do with this animation, so the only thing that's stopping you guys is your imagination. So let me know what you guys think of this plugin in the comment section down below. Make sure to also leave a link to your work if you end up using this effect. I just want to see what you guys come up with using this plugin.